This is intuitive 144. I am a psychic medium along with being a physical medium. All, right, all I do is have to look at you. All right. Um, $40 for a picture reading, $72 for a 30 minute reading and $144 for an hour uh, session with me. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the the bookings and that I've been receiving lately. You guys are just so wonderful. So, so wonderful. So, so wonderful. All right. Um, but let's begin. I'm going to be doing Tom Cruise. Now, usually I like to lay down and meditate on people's energy, like my clients or like celebrities, whoever I'm reading, right? But I just didn't feel like laying down to meditate on him. So I just was staring at a few pictures of him, a few pictures of him and you know, this is what I received, okay? So Tom Cruise, all right, let's begin. So spirits, oh, and I'm reading what I uh, spoke into my laptop because as of lately, you know, I have I just haven't, I've been in my lazy girl era, like I don't really feel like writing down, you know, the messages that spirit gave me. But yeah, let's begin. So Tom Cruise, right? So spirit said his mind is altered. Then they said undiagnosed, and unaware about his mental illness. And he thinks that mental illness can be treated and usually it can, but not in the way he thinks it can be treated. All right, then they kind of left that alone and they said that spirit said he's also a racist. They showed me a vision of him working with black actors and black actresses, but deep down inside he hopes and prays that they don't do a scene where he has to touch them. Now, not sexually, but let's say a hug or like a dab, you know. Then Spirit said he doesn't like black people. I think the magician, his name is Harry Houdini or Oliver Houdini. I don't know his first or I can't remember his first name. All right. Um, and I know you guys are like, you should really do your research on people. I don't like to look up information because once I see something, it is can like change what they say. You get what I'm saying? Which is why I tell my clients all the time, don't tell me anything, all right? Anyway, so Harry Houdini popped up in my head, all right? And I haven't heard about, her. he's he's obviously not alive, but I haven't heard that name in years, girl. Um, but yeah, so Harry Houdini popped up in my head, all right? Now, I do wanna say, all right. My cousin is in the entertainment industry. I'm so proud of him. Um, and, you know, he tells us a lot about what happens on set. Right. And it's no secret in my family that Tom Cruise likes to do his own stunts. Right. So it's not like, you know, so I'm very aware of that. OK, but yeah. So just keep that in mind. I do tell people all the time. I don't like when my clients tell me anything because it can interfere with what they could possibly say. And now that I know that Tom does his own stunts and spirits know, right? It It's kind of like, I think it's interfering, but we'll see. But back to the Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini was a magician that I believe passed away from doing his own stunts. I don't know why that was so important for spirit to mention. Maybe they're trying to say he thinks he's a magician or unfortunately he may or may not pass away from one of his from doing one of his own stunts okay um however what they allowed me to see is that he challenges himself every day physical challenge okay and mental too for example let's say you're tired right you're gonna brush your teeth wash your face and go to bed right you might put your hair on your bonnet but for the most part if you're tired you're gonna go to sleep right for him in order for him to sleep, he has to do a challenge. So for him, he would have to complete 800 sit-ups in two minutes in order for him to go to sleep. And if he doesn't complete the 800 sit-ups in two minutes, then he punishes himself not to sleep, okay? All right, so it's something with insomnia is in his energy, but he does not believe in insomnia. It's literally like, Let's say a doctor, so the vision that they're giving me right now for him is a doctor diagnosing him with bipolar and he's reading it and he's like, there's no such thing as bipolar. Like, it's literally like he could freaking get shot and in his head, he just, oh, it'll heal on its own. No, my God, you need treatment. Hello? Anyways. Um, so yeah, if he doesn't complete the 800 sit-ups in two minutes, then he punishes himself not, 
not to sleep. He punishes himself to not sleep. Now, this is very weird in my opinion, and I know I should always leave my opinion out of things because for the most part, I just speak on my gift, all right? And I, I know the word weird could be taken in a derogatory way, but hey, I guess I'm being derogatory today because he's weird energetically, okay? So they show me a vision of him eating with his wife and his wife drinks a glass of water before she starts, you know, to pick up her fork and knife to cut her steak. Now that, her doing that bothers him like crazy, okay? He says to her, you know, you're not supposed to eat and drink at the same time. You're supposed to eat your food and then when your food settles, drink your water or drink your water first. And when your water settles, you, you can eat. And she ignores him. It feels like she's used to that behavior. So she ignores him in the vision, right? However, it's draining because they're showing me a vision of all the women that he's dealt with. And it doesn't seem like it's been much because he is draining. But yes, all of the women that he's dealt with, it's like they, it's like they have to do specific stuff around him because he ordains it, as Spirit said, ordains. So he could definitely be a dictator in his own little world because you ain't dictating shit over here. I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you. I'm Tom Cruise, I'm going to let you know this right now. You're not going to tell me what, what you think I'm going to do. You're not going to do that to me. But he wouldn't even be next to me because allegedly he doesn't like black people. Um, but uh, anyways... Spirit said he is a physical manifestation of what an intrusive thought is. They keep showing me a vision of him in a car with his newborn baby and his wife. And he's doing 60 miles per hour. Everything's good. You know, everything's fine and dainty, right? And then a thought pops in his head saying, I want to go so fast. I want to be able to feel my skin, you know, move back, like push back. You know, if you guys, have you guys ever put your hand under a... Like, what's the name? I can't remember. Or like put your hand, like put a blow dryer on top of your hand and your skin like literally like moves. All right. So he wanted his skin to like, like move like that with the, the, the wind. I know guys, I sound ignorant and illiterate. It's because sometimes I am, but also it's like three in the morning. So if you just, if you understand, you understand. If you don't, hey, I don't know what to tell you. Right. So, yeah, so he, he wants his skin to be pushed back. Right. So he steps on his gas pedal. All right. And before his wife knows it, before his wife can realize they're now doing 120 miles per hour. His wife is screaming, slow down, slow down. And he eventually slows down and she curses him out and says, why would you do that? And on top of that, why would you do that? And our baby is in the back like you could have you could have killed us all and he's laughing hysterically in the vision and he said you know, as he's laughing he's like that you guys you guys wouldn't have died like i know how to drive okay so it's just very like like just like he just feels like it like with it doesn't even feel like he feels like he lacks empathy anyways so i want to say I know I'm not a doctor, right? But something is really wrong with that man. And I'm not trying to be funny, but if he wasn't an actor, he would either be a scientist, a mad scientist. They just corrected me and said mad scientist or a psychopath or a Jeffrey Dahmer because he just popped up in my head. All right, so they showed me a vision of him reading about OCD, then throwing the papers away. Earlier, I said how he thinks you can treat mental illness in his way. It doesn't feel like he believes in medicine. Back to the vision of a tiger biting him or him getting shot. He thinks the body can heal on his own. No, sometimes you need treatment. Sometimes you sometimes you need treatment. Can we try to get my nails done? All right. Um, certain wound, like wounds need treatment. Like a little scratch. All right, it's going to heal on its own. All right, but anyway, so the they showed me a vision of him reading about OCD, then he throws the papers away, right? The vision then switches to all the women he's dealt with down from, you know, his romantic relationships to the actresses, to the cash gear register, you know, to the waitresses, you know, and he chooses all of them to be tall and thin. 
If they're not tall, then they have to be thin. It doesn't even feel like skinny. Like skinny would be considered too fat for him. Oh, my dog scared me. Skinny would be considered too fat for him. All right. It's more so with thin. Like you have to be thin. All right. Um, so he's, he has an obsession over thin women. All right. So then, then spirit showed me a vision of me. Do um you know preparing for an audition and then I walk into the what is it called casting room audition room whatever and I'm confident about it and he's the casting director and obviously I'm chubby guys you guys know well, I'm juicy I'm thick I'm kind I'm legendary I'm juicy mwah, 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 bitch. I'm I'm that girl but let's be real I'm chubby all right um <laughs> so yeah obviously guys I'm not ch uh, I'm chubby right so this you know. Maybe I identify as I identify as skinny, but in the real world, I'm chubby. No, I'm kidding. I love my chubbiness. I'm juicy. Mwah. Okay, but no. Um, like you guys know, I'm I'm chubby, right? So I was so in the vision. I walk into the the audition room, and the first thing he looks at is is my chubbiness, right? So yes, they show me a vision of me doing an audition and he is the casting director. And even though I am the most talented out of all of the women that auditioned for the role, being that I'm black, but most importantly, chubby, he doesn't pick me. Okay, so he has an obsession with thin women. All right, so I do want to say he would be one of those Hollywood directors back in the day that, you know, told Marilyn Monroe that she was too fat, which is crazy to me because looking back at pictures, I'm like, yo, like she's skinny, but that's very interesting. Social beauty standards, it really should be no such thing as beauty standards, but I feel like we're evolving and things are slowly changing, even though there's always going to be ignorant people out there. But anyways... He would be one of those Hollywood directors back in the day that would have told Marilyn Monroe that she was too fat. He's one of those men in the industry where they feel like in order to have a more polished look, you have to be smaller. But as I've been stating this entire time, he's very specific with everything. And even though he thinks he's he doesn't have OCD, he does, okay? And he's very specific with everything he does, even down to his women. Also, narcissistic energy is popping up. However, he's completely unaware. Now, usually narcissistic people are unaware about them being narcissists, right? Um, so I get that. However, for him, it, gen it generally feels like he's living in his own world and doesn't have much empathy for anything. Like if I were to cry to him about my struggles in life, he would say, try harder or, hey, knock yourself out. The world's overpopulated anyways. Like, it's like, he, like, energetically, it's like a black and white. He, like, he lives life in a black and white perspective. And he also lacks empathy, they just said. And he's also out of touch. All right. Um, and every time I look at him, they show me a rock. So he's... He's emotionless. He's stern. He's like just, he's a rock, okay? That's what I have for Tom Cruise, guys. Uh, $40 for a picture reading, $72 for a 30-minute reading, and uh, $144 for an hour session with me. Goodbye.